three, two, one, mark. Hello and welcome back. My name is Ibis, and this is my second Minecraft Basics episode. Now, between now and last episode, I have done some work on my house, and I have also gone mining. Now, I've actually become lost, but before I try and venture out of here, I'll show you the cool loot I found while mining. A lot of cobblestone, but I found 16 iron, and a lot of coal. Oh, I thought there was some gold. Ah. Oh. oh, well. Well. What? I'm a girl. Oh, that's that's a bit weird. Anyway, now I need some better equipment than what I got, so I need to be able to find my way out of here. And this is the hard part because, as I said before, I am actually lost underneath here. I do not know at all how to get out of here. I think it's this way. Just follow my trail of torches. Oh dear. That looks promising. I think I'll just nerd pull up. Ah, here we go. Here's the exit. Now I made a wall just so no mobs from up up there could come in when I was digging down before I found all those cave systems and stuff. I'll just dig this away. Ah. Fresh air and rain on my skin. Just what you need when you've been underground for ages. Hello world! Now as you see, here is my new house. With its great improvements. I put the windows on. Glass panes, I'll show you how to make those soon. I've created like a little front patio. And as I said last episode, I've done my peaked roof with stairs. Looks really good. I've given myself a cobblestone floor. Oh no, that was there already last episode. I've created a chest. I'll show you how to make that soon. And I put my crafting table in the ground. That's not a different crafting recipe. I literally had moved it to the ground. Alright, so... Like a furnace, where you get your cobblestone and you make a circle in your crafting table, that's how you make a chest, basically, except instead of cobblestone, it is wood. Glass panes is made when you smelt sand. Just putting sand in the furnace will create a glass block. And then putting in the glass block like this, six glass blocks like this, will create a glass pane, like so. You can use, you don't need to turn it into a glass pane. I just prefer glass panes to glass blocks. So anyway, as I said, yep, I gotta upgrade some tools. So I'll come in here and I'll put my 16 iron into the furnace and start smelting it. Now when iron is smelted, it, get turned, it gets turned into an iron ingot, like so. While I'm waiting for the iron to smelt, when you right click a chest, it opens up and he and this is where you store all your items. Like here's the glass blocks I've made from sand and the glass panes. And oh I've got some wood. That's where I needed to, I needed some wood earlier. Create a crafting table so I can craft things when I'm down in the mine. I've already done that achievement, silly game. 
getting a bit peckish, so I'll just munch on a delicious pork chop. Oh, there we go. That's much better. Ah, uh, okay. Put in this cobblestone into the chest. This dirt. This diorite. Diorite. No idea what that is. Granite. Not sure about that either. Rotten flesh. That could maybe become useful. Also make a. I'll make a furnace for smelting while I'm ironing, well, mining as well. Hmm. Get rid of string. Get rid of that. Now I'm already out of space in my chest. So using my jungle wood, I'll create another chest and place it right next to this one, creating a large chest, which adds so much more storage. It's amazing. Don't actually need the storage yet, but I have it now for later. Almost finished with smelting down my iron. And there we go, 16 iron ingots. Now what I intend, intend to make with these is a few iron pickaxes. Same crafting recipe for a normal pickaxe. Just with iron on the top. And this is so much stronger than a stone pickaxe. And can dig more ores. And just as I'm about to go mining again, the rain clears up. So much quieter now. Much better. I'll make a few more pickaxes. And maybe an iron helmet. No, I'll make an iron sword. Same recipe for a normal sword, except with two iron ingots. There we go. I'll put these useless, well not useless, but unneeded pickaxes in here. Keep this. Maybe take a bit more wood. Bit of cobblestone for if I need to do any nerd poles. Maybe dirt would be better for that. Put that in the chest. Put that in the chest. Don't want to lose that. And I'll go digging again. Alright, here we go up to my mind. Now where did I start? Ah, oh, over here, yes. There I go. Boom. Ouch. Okay. Let's go explore here. I did not dig this out. Dig up some of this iron. Iron is always important. As well as coal. You always need coal. Oop. What is this? Emerald ore. That's right. Not quite sure what you can do with emeralds, but I'll look into that. Dig up some more of this amazing iron ore. And some gold ore, yes. Gold is so beautiful. So awesome. A lot of iron around here. This weird diorite. Is that what this is? 
Yeah. Mm, not sure what that is. Oh, better be careful. There's a bit of a lava spillage here. We'll use this, whatever it is, to block it up. There you go. Oh my gosh, that's a big drop. That means there's lava above here, so I don't want to dig up, because otherwise lava will spill out. Oh my gosh. Flip, that was a bad idea. Lapis. Running out of torches. That's great. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Oh no. Quick. Oh gosh. No! Monster Hunter. That's right, guys. Fear me. Ibis is a monster hunter. Do not cross me. Alright. Now, this is redstone ore. That comes in handy for when you start making technical shizwas. Like doors with pistons that open themselves. And so on and so on. Oh my gosh, that was so close. Okay. Let's get up here. Oh no, that poor bat. Mm, that was not a good sight to see. Yeah, there's lava everywhere down here. Nowhere is safe. Oh. I think it might be safe to go back up now. Get more of this redstone before I leave. Don't think this is the right way. Oh well. Going to go down it anyway. Ah, dead end. Gosh darn it. <sighs> Alright. I'm going to go up top. And I'll be back as soon as I get there. I'm almost at the top. But it looks like it's night time, so I better have equipped my sword just in case any nasty creatures try and jump me as soon as I get out. Like a zombie. Ah, see me. Die. Oh my gosh. Oh, flip. It's an ambush. Oh my gosh. Ouch. That's right. That's right. You can't touch me. Better get inside before too many come back. Well, I've done a bit of mining. There's not really much to talk about with mining other than collecting special ores like gold, diamond, lapis, redstone. Now I'm going to dwell into farming now. Farming you can grow wheat, carrot, potato and a whole bunch of foods and stuff and to do so you need to well you need to start setting up a farm so I'm going to do that but just where will I set this farm up? I think I set it up about here. Yeah, that looks good. Alright, so I'll. Do I have a shovel anywhere? 
שבו, 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 נו, לא שבו, אה... אני יכול איין שבו. Just wait for this iron to smelt. I have a potato already. Hmm. I don't know where I got that from. There you go. Now a shovel is just two sticks, like so, and an iron ingot on top, or or wood or stone, so on, so on. And it creates a shovel. Now I'm going to clear out some land here for my farm. Clearing away dirt is just as, just the, the same mechanics as digging, a, chopping down a tree, or digging through stone and ores and stuff. Just hold down right click with your shovel equipped, and it will start digging away. Oh dear. Now when you get seeds, or well, to get seeds, you need to break grass, like this, this sort of grass. Just gotta punch it until the seed comes out, like that. Wow, was not expecting that to come so quickly. A wheat seed, that's exactly what you want. Now, I'll just punch away the rest of this grass and I'll start setting up the farm. I'm gonna set up my farm like a column, like like this. Gotta use dirt, dirt on the bottom layer. I'm gonna do probably about maybe four rows. Get some wood. I'm gonna put this around the corners. You don't need to set your farm up like this. I just like prettying up. Oh dear, that's a bit too far. I will put this around the edge. And what you need to put in the middle of the dirt is water. And to be able to get water from here, from where it is to here, you need a bucket. Now bucket is three iron ingots. In this shape. I'll just get my other iron. Place it like so. And there we go. A bucket. And that is the only crafting recipe in Minecraft. There is no other. So you need iron to be able to create a bucket. What's the time? There's plenty of time. I'm going to go look for water. There's some water. Very high place, but I'm going to go for it anyway. Now, you need to get a water source block, not this. This isn't the source block, this comes from the source block. So, what I need will probably come from up there. That's a long way to go. Or I could cheat the system and probably create a, a source block. Hmm. 
maybe. No, that didn't work. All right. I'll just nerd pull ups today. And once I have enough water, I'll show you how to make an infinite water source block. So I'm going to need to create a few, maybe three more, or one, one more iron bucket to be able to create this infinite water source. So I'll just jump, I'll just race back home and create that other, oh wait, yeah, here's some easier to get water, gosh. Cook some more iron. There we go. Three more iron ingots. I'll just leave the rest of that to cook into iron. Create my second bucket. And I'll go get some water quickly before it's too dark. And where is it? Oh, there it is. Now this is sand, this is what you need to dig up with a shovel or your bare fist to be able to create glass. Now get back home. Excuse me sheep. Now create an infinite water source. You need to create something a bit like this. Place one water source here and the other water source there. And now you can just continue drawing water straight from there. It will never run out. I'm just gonna have a quick sleep. There you go. Good morning! And just fill my farm with water. Almost finished. I'm just going to get one more bit of water. There we go. Now, the last step before you plant your seeds is you need to create a hoe. Now to create a hoe, you come in here, uh, I think I'll create a stone hole, hoe, mm, wood, where is it, there we go, place two sticks like so, and then get your cobblestone, wood, iron, etc, place one there, and then one above the sticks, create a hoe. Now you come with your hoe and you right click the grass and it turns it into farm grass, like fertilized grass. Now you need water next to it, otherwise it would just go back into normal grass. And you know it's f completely fertilized when it c becomes dark like this. You can see the difference, this is grass I just hoed. This is grass that's been fertilized and is better to plant your seeds on. Now if you jump on grass that you've been that you've heard, it will turn it back into normal dirt like so. So you especially don't want to do that when you have seeds on there. Now, where are my seeds? There they are. My eight wheat seeds. Just right click them, the fertilize the hoed down grass, you'll plant your seeds, and that will start to grow. Now, with my potato, where is my potato? There it is. You don't need to turn this into seeds, in fact, you can just right click it and it will already plant the seeds. Now, if you have bones from a skeleton, 
You can turn that into bone meal and that will speed up the growing process. Do I have any bones? I have no bones. Oh well. Now I think that's all for today. Thank you again for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for new videos. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Please leave a comment below about how I can improve these videos, what we'd like to see from me in the future, etc, etc. And I will see you next time. My name is Ibis and this has been my second Minecraft video. Thank you and goodbye.